In this video lecture, I will explain properties of a transition function or we also call it extended transition function. So, what is the difference between a transition function and extended transition function? So, extended transition function uh, will, we will use when we want to uh, process some string. Uh, that means if I have some finite automata and I want to check whether uh, some particular string is accepted by that finite automata or it is rejected by the finite automata. So what we have to do, we have to uh, start from the start state and after processing that string, if we are uh, reaching at the final state, we will say that the string is accepted by the machine. If uh, we start from the start state and after processing the string, we are not reaching at the final state, uh, the string is rejected by the machine. So, in case of uh, transition function, my first argument of the transition function will be some current state and the next argument will be the input alphabet or the symbol and the output I am getting some uh, state, so that will be next state of the machine. In case of uh, extended transition function, the second argument will be string uh, uh, instead of alphabet. So here in transition function, the next second argument is input alphabet, whereas in case of extended transition function, the second argument is a string. And this is the symbol used for transition function and this is the symbol we use for extended transition function. So uh, we will start from the start state. And whatever string we want to process, that will be the second argument. And then after calculating this, if I am getting final state, we will say that string is accepted. If after processing the string, I am getting non-final state, we will say that string is rejected by the machine. Okay. So these are the three properties of the extended transition function. Uh, the first property, it says uh, Q delta Q epsilon is equal to this is the symbol used for extended transition function q uh, epsilon is equal to q and then the second property is delta of q w a is equal to delta extended transition function q w a and then this is the third uh, property. So these three properties you should remember. So here in these three property we have q. So q is nothing but uh, some state. So it always belong to the capital Q where capital Q will be the set of state. And this A will be the input alphabet that belongs to the symbol sigma, where sigma is a symbol used to represent the input alphabet. And then this W will be some string that always belong to sigma star because sigma star will be set of all the string. So sigma uh, star will be uh, having uh, all string of all the length, string of length 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this W will be uh, definitely it will be from the sigma star only. And then what is the meaning of this first equation? When we say the machine is in some state Q, so current state of the machine is Q and this is the input epsilon. So epsilon means no input or we can say empty string because we know epsilon is a string of length 0. So when we are uh, the machine is in some state Q and we are not giving any input, the machine stays in the same state. So that is the meaning of the first equation. Now let us take uh, one example. Uh, how extended transition function works. So here this is the uh, DFA given. So uh, now we need to check whether this uh, string 101 is accepted by this machine or not. So this is transition, this is transition graph and this is a DFA. Okay. So transition graph representation of a DFA and for this DFA we need to check whether the string 101 is accepted or rejected by the machine. So that means we need to calculate the extended transition function. So my start state of the machine will be the first parameter to extended transition function and the string will be the second parameter of the extended transition function. So here uh, what we need to do? Let me write uh, the rules again. So here uh, the first rule was for extended transition function was delta q epsilon is equal to extended transition function q epsilon is equal to q and delta q w a is equal to delta extended transition function q comma w comma a. So here the string is 1, 0, 
वन सो वॉट वी शुड डू सपोज दिस इज द स्ट्रिंग एक्स ओके सो वी हैव टू डिकम्पोज एक्स इन डब्ल्यू एंड ए सो हियर डब्ल्यू विल बी वन जीरो एंड ए विल बी वन सो हाउ वी हैव टू डिकम्पोज दिस दिस होल थिंग इज एक्स एंड वॉट वी शुड डू एक्सेप्ट द लास्ट सिंबल रिमेनिंग uh symbols will be w so here this a will be uh, this last symbol is one here so that last character is a and the remaining this will be one uh, zero will be w so in this string one zero one w will be one zero and last one is one so a will be one so we have to calculate extended transition function so start state will be q naught one zero one and uh, we know what is w and what is a so we'll be applying rule number 2 so delta q not w is 10 and a is a is 1 okay so this if i say equation 1 and now to calc because we want this value so to calculate i should do this value so next step what we'll be doing we'll be calculating q not 10 so now here q not 10 last symbol is 0 so the remaining only one is there so w will be 1 and a will be 1 so this is w this is a so it will be de delta and extended transition function q0 1 and 0 so this is equation 2 and now we should know this value we should know this value so delta cap q0 1 so here since only one uh, symbol is there only one alphabet is there so this will be a and uh, w will be null so delta cap q 0 null and 1 okay so this is equation 3 now i should know this value so this value is delta cap q 0 epsilon now from equation 1 we know delta q epsilon is equal to extended transition function q epsilon so i have already explained if the machine is in some state q and we are not giving any input machine remains in the same state so it is nothing but q not only so this is equation 4 if i say so now we know this value so now here this value we will substitute here in equation 3 so we'll get delta cap q 0 1 is equal to delta of in, in place of this we'll be putting q 0 1 so now q 0 1 it will give me so from this diagram now we know uh, transition function if i have if I, if the machine is in q not state we give input 1 it will be q 1 okay so it will be q 1 now this value we will substitute here so now this value we know q 1 so here it will be delta q1 0 so now q1 0 the machine is in q1 we give input 0 we will get 0 only now this value we will substitute here so it will be delta of it will be sorry it will be uh, q1 0 is q1 only so q1 and 1 so delta q1 1 it is nothing but q2 so end of the input string and see here we got this value as q2 so that's what after calculating if i get q2 here so q2 is what final state so we will say the string is accepted by the machine suppose after uh, calculating this uh, if we get q1 or q0 means any uh, non final state then we will say that the string is rejected by the machine so manually also we can check but if it is asked uh, check whether the following string is accepted or rejected you should always compute extended transition function and if you get the final state you will say that the particular string is accepted otherwise rejected so you should remember these two rules so first one uh, whatever uh, whatever string you have first you should decompose it in w and a so you have to remember that a will be the last symbol here from the string and the remaining will be w so if i have 101 so this this will be a so remaining 10 is left that will be w for example if i had suppose 110111 okay so in that case this will be a 
and these four one 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 zero one this will be W. Next time when we take one one zero one, so one one zero one this becomes A and this will be W. So like that. So first one zero one W will be W will be this. This will be A. So we have to just substitute the value in equation two, and then we need to compute this value next. So here W will be this. A will be zero. And using the equation one again, we will compute and then. Again, we need to know this value. So when the last only one uh, alphabet is left, that will be A, and W will be null. So once we get this, okay, so that means directly I can apply rule one and directly uh, delta extended transition function Q not null is equivalent to delta Q null, and that is nothing but machine is in some state Q, and I am not giving any input, so we will remain in the same state. So this will be always Q not. So once we get this value. That means uh, Q not uh, Q not delta Q not one. So delta Q not one means uh, uh, normally how we calculate a transition function that way. And then we have to do backtracking. And finally, we are getting our final state Q two. So the particular string is accepted by the machine. So hope you understood the concept. Thanks for watching.